Hey guys, um, this video is really random. As you can tell, I am not in my normal setup. Um, I had actually been intending for something else to be the next video that I would post on this channel, but it just didn't seem right with everything that's going on. So in light of what this video is about, please forgive the horrible quality and the horrible setup and the fact that I look ridiculous, but this is a lot more important than that. As I'm sure you're all aware, the world's kind of falling apart, <laughs> but in times like this, you kind of begin to wonder if it was intact to begin with. Our system is corrupt as hell and racist beyond all belief inherently. And it's not fair and it's not right. It's not human. What happened to George Floyd was not human. There are so many other victims of police brutality before and after George, but the George Floyd incident, it seems to have brought everything to a new light. I, like many others, was already very very aware of police brutality. And as we go forth into Pride Month, since it's now June, I would like for everybody to remember that June, as Pride Month, is the anniversary of Stonewall, which was a riot, led mostly by people of color against police brutality, against queer people. I can't physically go out and protest right now. And I hate that because it's fucking me up inside especially since i have friends that are going to protests but in light of the fact that covid19 to a certain degree is still at large and i live in a house with four other people that are heavily immunocompromised i risk getting all of them sick and harming them quite severely if i go to a protest and am around a lot of people some of which are unmasked so i'm doing what i can from home and i ask you to do the same Unlike usual, I will not be linking any of my social media in the description below. The only thing that it will be in the description of today's video is going to be a link to a website that is a wonderful resource for things that you can do at home. The link will take you to a website that will help you find fundraisers to donate to, petitions to sign, and safety tips for those of you that are going to protests. I have already been donating, I have already been signing, I have already been passing on the link on all of my social media websites and to friends that are going on protests. I ask that you please visit this website and other similar websites to educate yourself on what is going on right now and to find out how you can help whether you are out in the streets in the protests or you're stuck at home like I am. In the city that I live in, things are getting bad. A friend of mine went to a protest that was completely peaceful and then police began to fire dispersal rounds and tear gassing them without warning. I saw videos, the protest was peaceful, and my friend and their boyfriend was tear gassed for it. Innocent people all over the country are getting shot, hurt, arrested, tear gassed, all sorts of things. And yes, I know that there will be people who watch this that are going to say, not all cops are bad. I'm aware. I know that there are cops in the world who genuinely join the police force because they want to help people. I am very aware of that and I am very thankful to those, especially those that stand with protesters, not against them, that have listened to their comments, their complaints, and walked with them on their protests. And I am very thankful for those who are part of the police force that have done that. But this is not about the police officers that have done their job. This is about the police officers that have not. This is about police officers that have not been fired or charged for things that they have done against people of color. This is about officers like the one that murdered George Floyd. This is about officers like ones in my very own city who killed Breonna Taylor. Breonna Taylor was a woman of color who was an EMT that worked at two different hospitals during this pandemic. Officers had a no-knock warrant to do a drug raid illegally on her home in the middle of the night. They came in without warning and she was shot to death by three of those police officers. Not only were they in the wrong house, but the man that they were actually looking for had been arrested earlier that day. And then upon defending their home and his girlfriend, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend was arrested for shooting on police and defending his home. As of right now, when this video is being filmed, the officers that killed Breonna Taylor have not been fired or arrested. I have heard that they are under investigation, but so far I don't think anything's actually been done about it. There are countless people that have not been brought to justice for what they have done. Countless people that have murdered people of color in cold blood. And yes, I know that so many of you that could watch this, even though I'm pretty sure there's a very good chance that this will not get shown to a lot of people, like other social media websites that have been 
watering down things to do with the riots and the protests and the rallies and any word that you want to use it for. Things like TikTok that I very sadly am a user of have been suffocating it. I'm really hoping that YouTube is not going to do that. I know that a lot of people that are going to watch this are going to say things like all lives matter. And in retrospect, I know that. Black lives matter. Hispanic lives matter. Native American lives matter. Asian lives matter. Every single life on this planet, no matter your race, where you are from, your sexuality, your gender, any of it, all human being lives matter. But that is not what this is about. This, this is about the injustice being done on black people. This is about them. Black lives matter. It is a statement that is true as the fact that the sky is blue and the grass is green, but so many people are finding every excuse in the book to try to have a rebuttal other than yes, you're right. Black lives matter. And I will say it as many times as I physically have to. Black lives matter. George Floyd mattered. Breonna Taylor mattered. Every single victim of police brutality and hate crimes because of the color of their skin mattered and it was too late before people started to recognize that until they were gone. Black people should not have to die to be noticed. They should not have to die to be heard, to be seen. I am not black, but I see you. I am not black, but I hear you. I am not black, but I mourn with you. I am not black, but I stand with you and I will fight for you. If you can attend protests, please do so. Attempt to do so peacefully. Protect yourself and the people that you go with. There is every chance of getting tear gassed. Please bring milk or solutions that can help if you get tear gassed or maced in the face. Please bring supplies like water or bandages, anything you may need from a first aid kit. Do not wear makeup to protest because I've heard that it can make the pepper spray and the tear gas stick to your face more and mess with those chemicals and cause those to further drip into your eyes. Put chilled milk into a spray bottle if you think there is a chance of you getting maced or tear gassed and take it with you. Make sure you are bringing bottles of water for yourself and other people. Make sure that because the pandemic is still in full swing to wear a mask. Possibly bring other masks for other people or bandanas if you have some sort of covering that you can pass out to others. If you can afford to bring supplies for other protesters, do so. Help your fellow protesters. Help each other. Stay safe and stay protected. Do not allow yourself to become dehydrated. Do not allow yourself to become sick. Do not allow yourself to become lost. If you are going to attend protests, do not post any pictures or videos with your face or other people's faces in them that can be used to try to arrest you after the fact. Do not click attend on Facebook events if it is a protest because that can be used in your arrest weeks or months after the fact. Be as peaceful as possible, but do not forget that Stonewall was a riot. Do not forget that the suffragettes who fought for women's rights were involved in riots. Do not forget that the Boston Tea Party was a riot. It is sad and pathetic and horrible that this is what has to be done for America to listen. We should not have to come to this point that this is what has to be done for people to hear people of color. Black lives matter and make sure that you live by that and you fight for them and you help them and you protect them whenever possible. To any people of color that are watching this, I stand with you, I fight for you, I do what I can even though I cannot attend protests at this time. I love you, honor you, and respect you. And I will fight for you to have the life that you deserve to be safe and protected in this country and in every country. For the people on this channel who may be seeing this that follow me for my witchy content, my next video will be a video on how to make a bottle that you can carry as a jar spell of protection in times like this. If you want to make them for yourself or your loved ones, then do so. But that will be my piece of what I can do for the witchy community. Do not forget to visit the link in the description of this video to figure out what you can do to help from home to find tips, fundraisers, and petitions in this time. Do not keep silent. Silent is violent. Do not be complicit. Fight for what is right. Use your voice. Speak up. Stand up. Defend each other. Protect each other. Love one another. And that's all I have to say. I'll see you next time.